Today I'm going to walk through our bloomers pattern that is linked below. I previously made a video with my husband with him making the pattern and it was really cute. So you can find that linked here. But we're just going to start with our pattern printed out and taping the pages together. Unfold the fabric that we're using. I chose to use this avocado dyed cotton gauze that I had made a while ago and just try it out on these bloomers. First, pin your pattern on the fold on your fabric and cut along the outside of the pattern shape and you can cut right up to the pattern shape. You don't need to leave a seam allowance. Make sure you have the grain line parallel to the selvage edge on your fabric and this is just so that your fabric stretches in the correct direction. Once you're finished cutting everything out, you're going to lay out the front and back pieces on top of one another. Don't forget to cut the notches on the pattern and lay out your pattern pieces right sides together, lining up these notches. Sew along the side seams with half an inch seam allowance. On all of the seams, you're going to finish them in some way. I used a serger, but if you don't, have a serger, you can definitely use a zigzag stitch on your regular machine. And all you're going to do is move the stitch over to the zigzag and go along the side seam right at the edge. Next, you want to finish the seams on the leg openings and around the waist so that there isn't any fraying. Line up the crotch and sew at half an inch seam allowance. Next, you're going to take your wider elastic and fold down the waistband at the width of the elastic. You're going to press this in place to make sure that it's a little easier to sew and that it kind of keeps that shape after you sew the waistband. Do the same thing for the leg openings, but I like to use a thinner elastic for the leg openings, so it will be a different size. For me, I sewed it at half an inch. Since these leg openings are curved, you might need to adjust it as you're sewing and as you are ironing it. After ironing, you can sew the waistband by starting on one end and before you finished on the other end, you want to leave about a two inch opening to insert the elastic. To insert the elastic, add a safety pin to each end of the elastic and on one end, you want to add the safety pin to the fabric as well so it doesn't get lost in the casing. Slowly just insert the elastic through the casing and you're going to bunch it all the way around the waistband and pull it through on the other side. This might take a little bit of time, but you'll get there. Once you reach the other end, just pull the fabric and the elastic through the waistband and make sure that Everything is kind of evenly spaced and then you'll sew about half an inch to an inch into the elastic.
For the leg openings, you wanna make sure that the elastic isn't too tight. So I measure my daughter's legs and then add about an inch and a half to allow for it to be comfortable. And I'm going to do the same thing with inserting the elastic on the legs. Once you've inserted the elastic on both the waist and the legs, you can close up the opening on the side seams, you can sew down the elastic where it's kind of hidden in this previous seam. And this will kind of help it to not twist and turn as your baby wears their bloomers and as you wash them. And that is how you sew the baby bloomers from our patterns. It's such an easy sew. I've made probably 10 of these for my daughter and she wears them all the time. They're super easy to throw on and it's a great beginner pattern. So if you have any questions, just let me know below. I loved walking through this and I'll see you next week with a new tutorial.